Fort Fairfield joins the town of Paris, becoming the only two Second Amendment sanctuaries in the state. Officials in both towns tell me that they don't want their residents to lose the right to bear arms. Today, tomorrow, or 50 years into the future, that we will not be disarmed. The Fort Fairfield Town Council passed a resolution late last year becoming a Second Amendment sanctuary. The resolution says in part, the Fort Fairfield Town Council wishes to further express opposition to any law that would unconstitutionally restrict the rights of our citizens to peacefully keep and bear arms. Town Councilor uh, Bob Kilcollins says people in Robert Fort Fairfield will still be following all the gun laws already in place. This resolution only pertains to anybody that is legally owned a firearm. According to the Maine Gun Safety Coalition, these resolutions are mostly symbolic. We're not presently uh, concerned or worried about them because these things have no legal effect. Right? Jeff Bickford explains that the Maine legislature makes the laws, police enforce the laws, and if there is a question about a law being unconstitutional, the courts decide that. Not for a local municipality to decide. They don't get to say. Our courts decide what is constitutional and what is not. While Fort Fairfield and Paris are Second Amendment sanctuaries and other municipalities are expected to follow suit, the state of Maine has the fewest gun laws in the nation. We have some of the fewest protections against gun violence, some of the fewest restrictions on gun possession. But for those who want their towns to be sanctuaries... Making sure that our children's children uh, will have the same rights uh, that we've had and our forefathers had. Kilcullen says Fort Fairfield residents will still be required to follow all gun laws put in place by the state and adds this is not a political stance. It has nothing to do with who's in uh, uh, power at the White House. I reached out to the Oxford County Sheriff's Department about the resolution here in Paris. Sheriff Christopher Wainwright tells me that towns can pass any resolution they want, but his department will continue to enforce Maine state laws. In Paris, Jackie Mundry, News Center, Maine.